on Science Time. My name's BJ. And I'm Dion. And today we're talking about building and engineering. engineering. <laughs> Let's go. Wake up, sun and moon. It's science time. It's science time. Wake up, skeleton. It's science time. It's science time. Because when you're building, there's a lot of strong shapes that builders and engineers use to make their building big and strong. So we're going to go through some shapes today. Like Here we a go. House. Lo like a house. Houses have big, strong shapes. So what's this shape, everybody? A triangle. A triangle. A triangle. Fantastic. A triangle. What is this shape? A circle. A circle. You know your shapes really well. What's this shape? A square. A square! Oh, you're yeah. going to make great engineers. Excellent. What's this shape? A rectangle! Now, I want to talk a little bit about squares and triangles. Now, a triangle is a really strong shape that lots of builders use to make their building strong. I'm going to show you something now. Here I've got... What shape's this? A square shape. How many sides does our square have? Can we? Four? Let, let's count to make sure. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four sides. It's a square. Ah, and I'm four. Are you really? Now, I bet lots of you are four. Now, if I push down hard on my square, what do you think might happen? It'll turn into a diamond. Turn into a diamond. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. So do you think it will stay nice and strong like this? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to press really hard. Okay, are you ready? Ready to experiment? I don't know. Let's do an experiment and find out. Are we ready? And push! Oh, what happened? It turned into an L. An L, or oh, a little bit of a diamond. You were right. Yeah, is it still a square? No. No, it's not a very strong shape, is it? So we'll try again. Oh, no. That's because it's not real. Well, it's, well it's, yeah, it's certainly not a real building. You wouldn't want a real building to do that, would you? But we're going to change the shape now because do you remember triangles are a strong shape. So Dion is going to unscrew these bits and he's going to turn it into a triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? Three. One, two, Three, three. So we now need a shape with three sides. Shall we count to make sure? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. It's a triangle. Okay. Now we're going to press down. Because I, because I count. You counted them really well. Yes, you did. Are we going to press down? And what's going to happen when we press down on our triangle shape? You don't think it's going to squash down? Do you think it might get squashed like the last one? You, it might get squashed. Shall we experiment and yeah. find out? Yeah. Okay, are we ready? And push! Oh! Oh! What happened? Did it squash down? No! No! It's a really strong shape. Because triangles are a lot stronger than squares. So a lot of buildings have triangles uh, uh, in them. No, all of you, uh, you had to put them there. Oh, I'll, I'll push in. I'll push in. I'm sure. Oh, good idea, but no, it's still strong enough to hold it. So triangles are a good, strong what, shape. What, yeah. what about that big rectangle? Oh, well, the rectangle's pretty strong in that building, isn't it? But a lot of buildings have triangle shapes. We'll look, have a look at those in a moment. But there's two more shapes I want to show you before we look at some pictures of buildings. What shape is this one? A rainbow. It's like the same shape as a rainbow. Uh -huh. A semicircle, like a half circle, and another word for it, what did you say? Arch. In building, they call 
this an arch shape? It's a half circle, isn't it? A semicircle, and it's an arch. And arches are actually quite strong as well. Oh, do you really? That's a nice thing. And there's one other shape I want to show you that lots of buildings use. This one is a circle on top and a long bit. It's actually this shape. So it's got a circle on the top and the bottom and it stands up like that. Does anyone know what this shape is called? It's a, it's a little bit the same shape as a rectangle but round on the top. It's an it's a, it's a eye. Oh, it looks a bit like an eye, doesn't it? Oh, like the letter I. It does a little bit. Do you know we call this a cylinder? Can you say that word with me? Yes. Cylinder, yes. And in building, you get things like this and they hold up stuff. And we call that a column. Can you say that word with me? Oh. Column. And columns are very strong like, and they're really like, good for like, holding things up. Like, like Colin, like Yes, yes, and they're very good for holding things up. So, let's have a look now at a picture of a house. Here we go, here's our house. Hands up if you live in a house. Do you live in a house? I live in a house. I live in a house. Well done, hands down. You might live in a house, or you might live in an apartment. You can make houses out of all different things, can't you? I'll ask you about that again in a moment. So, what shapes do we have in our house? What shape is the windows? Squares. Squares. What shape is the door? Rectangle. Mm, rectangle. What shape is the roof? Triangle. It's a triangle shape. Well done. Now, we've got other pictures of buildings here with lots of really good shapes. So. What is this a building? Pyramid. What is it? Pyramid. A pyramid. Yeah. And what shape is our pyramid? A triangle. It's a triangle on the sides, isn't it? Because triangles are very strong shapes, so it stands up really well. Now, next we've got, ooh, what's this? A bridge. It's a bridge. Does anyone know what bridge this is? <laughs> It's the Sydney Harbour Bridge here in, in Australia, isn't it? The Sydney Harbour Bridge. And it's a semicircle. It is. Yeah. This. And that's next to your house, you write trains go over it Hands too. Up, who's seen the Sydney Harbour Bridge before? Oh. Has anyone seen the Sydney Harbour Bridge? Really you might have seen it. Excellent. Hands I can down. I can now have a look at the shapes. First, we've got our arch shape, our semicircle arch shape, nice and strong. But have a look here. Do you see here? It's a zigzag and the zigzag is lots of triangles put together and those triangles make the bridge really strong because it's got to be strong doesn't it? Now this is a wonderful building, this one, this one has a, does anyone know what this building is called? The Eiffel Tower. Well done, it's the Eiffel Tower. Have you visited here? Wow, how exciting. This is in another country, in France, in a, in a city called Paris. And here we've got an arch down the bottom to make it nice and strong. A semicircle. A semicircle, well done. And we've got a big triangle shape here. And also, if you look closely, there's lots of little triangles yeah. holding it, making it really strong. And up the top there as well. A rectangle. And there's lot, lots of shapes in that one. Now here's another building. Does anyone know what where this building might be? You've seen the picture of this one before, have you? Wiggle just to the side, sweetheart. This is the Papanon. And, and this has lots of columns. Do you see all these columns here? They're holding up the roof because the columns are really strong. Remember, they're really strong for holding yeah. things up. Now there's another building with columns. Right, next door. You might have seen this one before. This is, this, is, this is the National Library. So when you're going out to the car park lady, you might like to have a little bit of a look and you'll see, do you see all these columns? Holding up the roof. What do you want to say? Me. Because they're the columns. Yes, they do look good. 
I comment? Fantastic. When if you live in Canberra. Oh, I'm so cool. If you live in Canberra, then you can go and see the National Library sitting on your bottom because now we're going to use all this knowledge we know. We're going to build our own house. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, okay. So here we go. Now, where's our... We're going to use this as our floor. So we have a floor and we're actually going to build a house for Mr. Grasshopper because he needs a house. He does. he does, he's very happy. There we go, so Mr. Grasshopper's house. We have a floor. What else do we need? A roof. So if we've got a roof on top, there we go. Oh, we need something to hold, some columns maybe to hold up our roof. Some walls maybe. Okay, well let's try some walls first. Now, you can build houses using all different things. You can use sticks to build houses. What else can you use to build a house? Bricks. Yeah. Uh, wood. Our house is made of bricks. Yours is made of bricks, is it? Well, and your house might be made of bricks as well. So, yes, yes, you could. Sometimes metal as well. Do you know? We're going to use. Oh, that's true. We are going to use paper to build our house today. So here we go. Some walls. Oh, oh, here we go. We'll try and get them up. There we go. And walls. Oh. Yeah, I think you've got a really idea. Good idea. Let's try using columns instead. So I'm going to get our paper. We're going to fold it in half. You can do this at home. And then I'm going to roll it up in a round circle like this and make a column. So rolly, 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 rolly. And here is our column. Now, you put sticky tape on that to hold it, but Dion and I made some earlier. So can you get our columns? There's our columns. One, two, three, four columns. So we've got four strong columns now to hold up our roof. So we'll put the roof on top. Oh, fantastic! Now, this house is going to have a chimney. Does your house have a chimney? Yeah. Yes? My house does. Yours does? Oh! You don't think it's strong enough to hold the brick? The brick? Let, let's try it first. Let's experiment. Okay. So put it on top and let's see. Oh, yes! You're right! It wasn't strong enough. So, do you know? We can make our paper roof stronger. Do you remember what is a really strong shape? Triangle. Triangle. And I'm going to make my paper into lots of triangles, just like the zigzaggy shape that we saw on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So can you show us a picture of that one again, Dion? It's, I'm folding it just like a fan. So can everyone see the zigzags on the Z yeah, Sydney Harbour Bridge? These are the zigzags all over there. BJ's going to be making zigzags with some paper now to try so, and make the roof even stronger. You're right, and I'm folding it just like you would a fan. So lots of zigzag, turn it over. Now, can you see? It looks like a zigzag. Do you see lots of little triangle shapes there? And they're quite small. They do a little bit. They're quite small, aren't they? So here we go. Now, let's put our columns up again. Oh dear. Oh dear, they're not standing up very well, are they? There we go. We'll make them nice and close because our roof isn't very big now, is it? There we, there we go. We'll put our roof on top. Have you got our chimney? I do. What do you think is going to happen this time? You think it won't fall down? You think it might fall down? Oh, no. no? Well, you see, I think it might fall down. Yes. <laughs> but let's experiment and find out, we'll shall see. we? Ready? Okay. It won't. Yes. Oh! Well done! Do you see, not only is the roof stronger, but Dion also put the chimney near one of our columns to make it even stronger. 
Well done. So there you go, Grasshopper. There's your house. <laughs> Fantastic. So we've got lots of things to play with here at Science Time today. Find your grown up and go and have a play. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. So we're building lots of things here in Science Time. Let's have a look at something we've built here at Questacon. Hi boys and girls. Here we are today at Questacon's awesome Earth Gallery. Now we've got lots of buildings in here. You can see we've got a long big tower here um, and some smaller ones. And in the back we've got a bridge as well. Now remember those strong shapes that BJ was talking about before? These buildings have got columns. We've got big columns on the tower and this bridge has got a really big arch. Now, this arch is a little bit different to what we saw before because it's upside down, but it's still very, very strong. So when there's an earthquake or something like that, it can survive it really easily. Now, looking at this building here, does it look very good? It doesn't look like it's built very well, does it? So we're gonna see if this one survives the earthquake and we'll see if these ones survive the earthquake as well. So ready, we'll test it. Ready, set, go! Earthquake! Oh no! So our building that wasn't built very well fell over, unfortunately, but you can see all of these buildings here stayed up because of their strong shapes. They have columns, they've got arches, and they stay up nice and tall. What we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at Earthquake House now. We're going to see what happens to a house during an earthquake. So here we are at Earthquake House here at Questacon. I know someone who really likes the Earthquake House, BJ. Hi Dion, hi boys and girls. I love the Earthquake House, this is gonna be great. So what <laughs> happens in an earthquake is that these things called tectonic plates in the ground, they shake and move. And that's when sometimes an earthquake happens. Mm. We're gonna see what happens to a house when an earthquake happens here in Australia. Are you ready BJ? I'm ready, I hope the house is strong enough Dion. It doesn't look very well built, we'll see how it goes. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Everything shaking in the house. <laughs> There's the oh. fridge. <laughs> I think the lights are going down too. Do you think it stopped? I think it might have stopped. I think it might have stopped. Excellent. Oh, maybe the house is okay. Doesn't look like it's too oh. Oh, it's oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is getting even bigger. <laughs> it's shaking. <laughs> So either. So this house is pretty beat up. Now that was a pretty big earthquake that one here. We don't often get those here in Australia. No, and luckily they make houses a lot stronger than this one in real life. They do. Yes. <laughs> so how about we go back to science time and see what everyone's been up to. Let's go. <laughs> now before we go, I want to talk about one of our shapes again. This was our special shape that we used for building. A semicircle. What's another name for this shape? Oh, oh good guess. Oh. Arch. Arch. An arch shape. Can you say that with me? Arch. An arch. Now have a look how it's a little bit like a half circle, isn't it? Do you notice that? Mm. So here we've got a full circle and an arch is a half circle. A half one of those. That is an arch. Now lots of building uses arch shapes. So here's just a few to show you. Even some there we go. Thank you, Dion. Even some windows are arch. Yes, yes, fact, lots of windows in this like one. Actually, oh really? And this one, this building here has arch-shaped windows. Do you see that? 
Now this one is overseas a long way away, but there's another building a bit closer to home. This one here, this one, is the War Memorial. And you see this has lots of arch shapes. I've seen, I've been there and it's a bit scary. Is it? It's but there's lots and lots of arch shapes. And I've got another art shape to show you. Do we remember? Oh, what, what was this bridge called again? The Sydney Harbour Bridge. And listen in. It's a big, listen it's a big arch shape. And there's another little arch shape bridge here. Look at this little arch shape. Yeah, do you see the arch? Now, in bridges, Arch shapes are really strong. And behind me, oh, I just dropped it over, didn't I? Here we go. Behind me, we're going to build an arch shaped bridge. So here we go. So we're going to build it up. I've done that. I'm just going to wiggle it a little bit more in front. And you see, we're not using cement or bricks or anything like that to build our bridge. We're just putting them together and at the moment they're leaning on this bit here, aren't they? There we go. And this bit at the very top is really important in an arch bridge. This is called the cornerstone. And we put that right there. Or keystone. So the keystone is another good name for that. And it fits in right there, just like a key. And now I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to move your foot just a bit. I'm going to lift up this bridge and put it in front. Oh, look! Look at that. It's standing up all by itself. But we didn't use cement and we didn't use glue. The arch shape, they're all pushing together and pushing against this keystone and it's holding itself up. Yeah. Because, because the keystone is made of... Oh, that's a good guess. Magnets would hold things up like this one. That's a very good guess. But the keystone, they all push against the keystone. And because an arch is a really strong shape, it stays up by itself. Yeah, do you, what do you think I'm going to knock it down? Uh, you've got to say, ready, set, go, though. I'll, I'll flick it like this. Ready, set, go. Ah! <laughs> well done. Well done. So an arch shape is really good for building bridges. So sitting on your bottoms everyone. We've got some things for you guys to take home. Here we go. So we've got our parent information sheet. You can see this online. You can download it. Lots of fun activities that you can do at home. And we've got our colouring in picture today. We've got a column, lots of triangles in this picture, lots of nice triangle shapes. But before we go, can everyone look at the boys and girls at home? And can we give them a wave and say, see you next science time. Bye. And come and get up. Questacon Science Time is held at Questacon in Canberra, Tuesday to Friday during school terms. Bookings are essential. For further information, go to our website at questacon.edu.au. See you next Science Time. In the